Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at some hidden shape effects in Illustrator. This is something that happens when you fill a shape with a pattern and then rotate or resize the pattern. There's actually something embedded in the shape which affects the shape's behavior going forward. So I'm going to show you what the problem is. We're going to solve it. I have two identical shapes here. They are just rectangles. They've got a white fill and a black stroke. What I'm going to do is fill this particular rectangle with a pattern. Now, these are patterns that I've made. They can be patterns that anybody has made. So I'm just going to click in here. Nothing magical about that. Let's go and click here and fill this shape with the pattern that I want to use to show you what's going on. So let's go back to this shape here and I'm going to scale and rotate this pattern. So I'm going to choose Object Transform and I'll choose Scale. I'm going to scale it up 200% but I don't want to change the object. I just want to change the pattern. So now this is much larger. Let's click OK. While we're here, let's rotate it. Object Transform, Rotate. We're just going to rotate it through 45 degrees so it's now on its side, if you like. It's on an angle. I'll click OK. So this is my control. This is what this pattern here should look like in a shape. I've added a pattern to this shape. I've rotated it. I've scaled it. What I'm going to do is put this pattern in this shape. So with the shape selected, I'm just going to click once on the pattern. This pattern should look like this one but it's inheriting the features of the pattern that we had in the shape after we'd done our scaling and rotating. And this can really bite you. There's absolutely nothing in this shape. When you have a look here in the layers panel, when you have a look in the appearance panel with the shape selected, there is no warning at all that this shape is now behaving differently to a regular rectangle because it's held within that shape the information it had on the last scaling and rotation that we did with our pattern. Now there is a solution when this happens to you. Firstly, you want to recognize that this is what's happening. You'll click on the shape and just go back and reapply your pattern. As soon as I click here, it gets reapplied the way it should have been in the first place. But this can really cause problems because you can try and do exactly what I did and discover that your pattern's done really weird things because the shape that you put it in is inheriting some features that Illustrator is not warning you about, but which are there. So I hope this helps you if you've ever had this happen to you. And it is just a simple process of just reapplying the pattern and then things are just zero back to the way that they should be. Now, a heartfelt thank you to Darcy, a student in one of my Udemy classes who had this problem and we managed to solve it. And I thought it was a good idea to make this video to show everybody exactly what the issue is. Before we leave the video, however, I do have more Illustrator training at Skillshare.com. When you sign up for Skillshare, you get access to thousands of classes there, including over 250 of mine. There's a coupon in the description below, which is at least as good as the current Skillshare offer. Typically, mine will be better. I also have Illustrator training at Udemy.com, and there's a referral link for every one of those courses in the description below. Please feel free to share these with family, friends, and coworkers. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you've learned things about Illustrator of which you were previously unaware. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.